Hey, baby cakes. This is not an over-caffeinated video because the caffeine that I've consumed today is just to have me at, like, base level because I had, like, a glass of red wine last night and it, like, knocked me out real fast. I don't know why wine makes me so sleepy, but... I don't often like making videos where I just get a little bit, like, ranty, but something's been kind of irking me lately in the YouTube community, specifically the beauty community. Now, as somebody who is is fond of Instagram filters and fond of photoshopping pictures and things to make everything look like perfect. I take wedding photos, sometimes I'll mess with things. If you use like video filters, like skin smoothing filters in your videos, I don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck. Make your skin look as beautiful as possible. It doesn't affect me. I don't care. Lighting does a lot of things, but it doesn't always make you look exactly how you want to look and it's your channel you can do what you want that's fine if you're not comfortable with the way your pores look fucking smooth them out make them look perfect make yourself feel comfortable with putting your face out on the internet when you're editing your own videos you are looking at your face your face is what people are looking at and if you don't like the way that your face looks put a filter on it I don't care. We wear makeup because we want our face to look slightly different. We want to highlight certain parts of our face. It's really no different, right, to use like a filter. It's like we're essentially using like a filter using foundation anyway. But I recently saw a beauty vlogger, will not name names, but um, I will say that she's been in this community for about eight years. So she should know better at this point. She was doing a review about skincare. Now, this was obvious that it was a video that the company approached her to make, to pay her for it. It was a sponsored video. I have no problem doing sponsored videos. I don't care. What does bother me is if you're making a video without any makeup on, man, she, she like demoed the product on her face, like put the skincare on, was like naked face, put moisturizer and cleanser and shit on her face, and she used a filter. I can spot that because A, it wasn't done very well, and B, because I work in like video production, I don't particularly work with graphics a lot, but my boyfriend does, so I can spot it really easily. It was obvious to me and to him, I showed it to him and he was like, oh, that's, that's, that's a lot. Like he caught it like that. That she was using a skin smoothing filter on her bare face where she was putting this product on. And I just thought that that was super shady and super dishonest. Like, if you're gonna use a filter on your face, if you're wearing makeup, or if you're just talking about shit, do it. I don't care. But if you're demonstrating a product that you're essentially selling to your audience, largely made up of teenage girls who are gonna know no better don't make your face look different than how it actually is. Like, if you are barefaced, putting on a product that was given to you, show them what your face actually looks like. Because you're lying. I expect shit like that coming from, like, regular commercials from traditional mainstream commercials that are shot and, and photoshopped so much. I don't believe that that's what those models look like. I don't believe that that's what their skin looks like because they have no pores. But when you're a YouTuber that's very close with your audience, that you are directly talking to them, you should not be doing that. I saw multiple comments being like, oh my god, your skin is so glowing. Of course her skin is glowing because she photoshopped the shit out of it. Now all I can see in her videos or all I can look for is like, the line around her face where it's like not catching because sometimes when you use those filters if you turn to the side it it doesn't catch like the shading so then there's like this harsh line around your face that you can tell that the effect has not hit there and now that's all i can pay attention to in her videos because she's bad at using that filter like if you're gonna if you're gonna use a skin smoothing filter at least do it well I'm not trying to be all high and mighty like, learn how to use your software. That's not the point. The point is that you're, you're being dishonest about the way a product makes your skin look like. Because you doing that, selling a product, selling a skincare product to your audience, it makes them think that their skin is going to look like that too. And I just think that's, that's shady as fuck. 
What do you guys think about it? It's been bothering me lately. If you're intentionally not wearing makeup to show somebody your naked face, actually have it be your naked face. It's creepy. People have pores on their skin. What do you guys think about that? Are you as bothered by that as I am? I don't know. I hope I'm not the only one that's bothered by it because then I'm talking into a void. Today's song of the day is Don't Be Nice by Watsky, and it is off his new record, Times Infinity, which is amazing. I actually wrote an article about when he came to Seattle on Seattle Music Insider. If you guys feel like taking a look at the pictures and reading what I wrote, because I haven't been that proud of something that I wrote in a long time, especially for that blog, I haven't written anything for them probably in months just because I've been so busy with work and like editing other people's stories and stuff. Yeah, so let me know in the comments what you guys think about people photoshopping the shit out of their faces in videos. I don't do that. I just use like hella concealer. <laughs> so, okay, bye. <laughs>